Hey guys, Brian from Snowwalker Bushcraft. Uh, you know I don't do too many reviews. I am going to start doing more reviews, gear, different things of that nature. Uh, picked these up over the summer. Got these from Kevin Kinney up at Empire Wool and Canvas. Gratuitous plug right there, I guess. Uh, Kevin made uh, the True North boot. And what this is, is this is pretty much a modern version of a muckluck. And what I mean by that is we'll go over the different things and the components and how he constructed this. But I'm really excited to try this out. But first what we got to do is we got to dress up like a lumber sexual. I'm 51 years old. For the last 42 years, I've been a trendsetter. And all of a sudden it's really cool to wear like flannel stuff and like work boots and like buffalo plaid. Really? Are you serious? Let's go. Yeah, let's check it out right now. Here's our winter wonderland. Like I said, first snow of the year. So, not too bad. Coming down pretty good right now. Got maybe about, what, two inches, three inches of snow right now. It's supposed to go up to maybe about ten inches of snow. But, we're not talking about snow right now. We're talking about True North boots. First thing that you can see with these True North boots is they are kind of big. They kind of look like moon boots a little bit. But um, there's a lot of work and a lot of thought that actually went into these boots. This is all buffalo right here. And then you go to the upper part of the shell. Okay. That's all cotton canvas. All right. And um, based on a premise, again, of like a muckluck. All right, guys. So I just spent the last hour and a half, two hours shoveling cleaning off the truck, things of that nature. Um, I specifically wore these for the purpose of it is a heavy wet snow. And where these may be designed to, um, to stay in uh, a colder, drier snow per se, like a powder snow. Again, uh, up at Empire they've taken that into consideration and then we're going to start to go through some of the parts of the, um, the uh, the true north boot or the modern muckluck as I like to refer to it as. So let's take a look at this right now. Okay, as you can see right here we have the upper which is made out of a brown cotton duck. Uh, very heavy and up on top as you can see here there's a cord lock with elastic. Okay this way we can cinch this up okay and keep out all the snow or the drafts or anything else in our pants. <clears throat> Not only do we have that but as you can see here in the lacing, right there, there's another cord lock. This is done in paracord. All right. There's ample amount for plenty of adjustment. Now, the thing about this is, is you will have to you will have to play with these. There's a lot of paracord in there, and there's two different barrel locks. Okay, there's one for the top of the boot, and then there's one for the bottom down by your ankle, and that's to help secure it in place while you're walking. That's a little tough. I don't know if I so much like that design per se. Um, there's a learning curve with it. and You have to play with it in order to seat the boot correctly on your foot so that it's not really sloppy uh, as you're walking. Mucklucks do have a tendency to do that sometimes. People get the, the large, the extra large, th sometimes three times depending on the layers, layering that they want to do. And then your foot kind of gets sloppy in there. All right, you don't want to do that with these, and it can, and it can very easily happen. The liner that they put in there is ample, and if you wanted to put heavier wool socks in there, it's fine. But we'll talk about the liner in a little bit. So let's go back and let's look at the lacing again. Okay, like I said, right here, this is that cord lock that's here at the ankle. All right, this will tighten everything up from your toes all the way up, and as you can see, there is ample adjustment over the top of the muckluck itself or the true north boot. 
as we have discussed, there's webbing to help keep everything seated while your foot and your heel is in the bottom. There's also an extra loop to help pull these on and snug everything up to get your adjustment. This right here is made of a high grade buffalo. Uh, very durable and very thick. Um, Kevin didn't spare any uh, any material or any expense in the material that he put into this project. Uh, and it's something for him to be actually kind of proud of, actually. If we look at the bottom of the boot itself, there we have the reclaimed tire rubber, um, little knobs, nothing too aggressive, but as you can see, aggressive enough that it will help keep you from sliding um, when you're on packed snow or if you're on uh, ice, it'll help you actually grip a little bit. They're not that slippery, I haven't tried them on ice yet, I will let you know as soon as I actually do get to, to try them on ice the uh, insulation inside the boots and that again of course very important as to what uh, is going to keep your feet warm right these are not pack boot liners they're not wool felt liners they're not felted they're not like Sorel's or anything of that nature what they are and they appear to me is to be the Canadian military uh, muckluck liners or the wool socks they're made by the Raber manufacturing company they make a lot of gloves and things of that nature it's a wool duffel it's double layer let's take a look like at that right here this is that Canadian muckluck wool sock and as you can see it's a very heavy wool duffel it's just basically a heavy blanket material um, they have matched it with another liner on the inside so you're getting two layers but here's a really cool thing about this when you want to dry these to save time in drying them, you actually pull out the inner lining like this. And look at that. There's another one there. So now you just let the whole thing dry and it'll dry a lot faster. The heels are reinforced with nylon so that you don't wear through there. Obviously a high wear area. And when you're done, and when they are dried off, stick everything right back inside. And then you are ready to rock and roll. Get everything all set up. And there you are. Center seam here. You get nylon on the outside of the heel here. And a pull tab to help pull up. All right. The last thing is, is the insole. We have a lot of times we put insoles and we put felt insoles. And then what winds up happening is our perspiration will leave the liner, well actually it goes through our socks, goes through the liner, and then goes down into the insole. And as you know, when you take off your uh, Sorel's or things of that nature, you grab that insole, and that insole is pretty wet. But here's a really cool thing that they did. The insole here see this this is mesh okay so what we've done or what Kevin has done he's actually taken a heavy felt sole okay and this does appear to be regular felted sole just like any Sorel's all right they have the aluminum side up to radiate heat back into your foot but this mesh right here what's really cool is when you take this off all the ice accumulates here because it'll freeze and then when you want to clean it you just snap it and all the ice comes out so therefore all the moisture that was in your felt insole is gone pretty innovative and uh, if I could actually find some type of insole like that for my other boots I would probably actually get them for that because it's a really really cool idea pretty innovative so um, you know I can't say enough about the work everything is is stitched well it's not going to come apart uh, if you go to the website and you check them out uh, once the <clears throat> once the rubber sole actually starts to to wear out which I don't anticipate wearing it out because 
you know, these are only going to be used for the, the winter time as far as I'm concerned. And uh, given different, uh, you know, conditions and things, I have many things to wear, uh, including my muck lux. So, uh, but they will put them on for a nominal fee. Uh, you can send them back to Empire and they'll put them back on. So, but that's it. That is the Empire, that is the Empire Woolen Canvas uh, True North Boot. Me, I consider it a modern day muck luck. Uh, really happy with it, really happy with the purchase. Uh, it was worth every penny. Um, you know, we get into that whole thing about we spend a lot of money on gear. This is definitely not a common man thing. You're going to pay 200 odd dollars for these boots. If you get them on sale, they may be a little bit less. Uh, they were, I think they were 225 for me uh, when I got them, and I actually wound up getting them on sale. So, but they're going to last forever. It's going to be bomb proof, just like all my gear. I tend to buy it once, one time, one time only. I don't want to have to keep repeating it and keep spending more money. So, again, Empire Wool Canvas. I'll put a link uh, in the description as to the uh, the boots themselves, the True North boots, modern day muckluck. It's another option for you. So this is Brian from Snowwalker Bushcraft. Thank you for your views and your comments. Till the next one, walk the woods and get your dirt on.